gas and then gunshot went off and one of the kids had died like i'm sorry as, as I, i'm not even gonna say as a cop as a human like you would run up in there immediately i don't me as a father you know what i mean like i that's I live my life you know for my for my daughter and my son like so going back to like when we talked about you know lies that could have been said people being fired i'm talking more in the sense of the hierarchy of the police department they were saying that it was a hostage negotiation that there was a barricade situation and then they're coming back and saying that it wasn't mm. so things like that have changed and it sounds like they just want to keep themselves covered so that way they don't get in trouble what well, it was sounding like people are going to get in trouble for what happened because it didn't sound like it was a barricade situation it sounds like they could have saved more children that were absolutely out probably. Right. Right. yeah there's a lot so. of stuff come out I, I don't know i don't know which a uh, politician is, you know, got to fact check me, you know, the people that do that. Um, somebody that they had posted that there was that there was an armed security guard there right. and he was shot. And then there was something else that came out that that, that wasn't true. Yeah, that wasn't. Yeah. I, yeah. And so but that's what I'm saying. But as you said, yeah. there was a whole bunch of these stories coming mm -hmm. out about things going on, trying to I guess when you throw information out there like that, it creates doubt mm -hmm. in the public's perspective. Uh, Per, um, perception of what's going on so now they don't know what really happened once you start throwing out all these scenarios and all these different things because it's going to take you a certain way right. as far as how you think this all this whole thing went down right. and that that's a big and that's just one example like if because obviously once we start talking talking about the guns they're yeah. basically trying to make it seem like oh well we had an armed security guard look what happened like it's in but that wasn't even the case right. but you threw that out there as if that was some type of fact and it wasn't. They said he had been called after shots that were. He had actually shot at the school before he gained entry to the school. They had called him. I guess at the same time he's running. This is what it just sounds like to me, based on the police commissioner's main report. That then, as he was going to the back to get into the building, I guess that guy drove by, didn't see anything was going on, and drove off. First off, I'm sorry. If I'm an officer. You tell me there's some kind of shooting. I'm gonna stay there and be like, "Hey, y'all said this was going on. What's going on? Like, mm -hmm. you're gonna take a report. You know what I mean? Some of some what." absolutely but it's just that did that didn't happen i want to i do want to you know touch on that part you know we, we since we're already discussing it you know we're going to talk about you know going into responsibility mm -hmm. you know and we, we always got to come down to that um uh, who's responsible what's responsible um you know when you start talking about with the police like from the stories that i've read the parents were pleading for them to go in. Right. They were trying to get Pleading. It. Yeah. Like right. begging them. And they didn't. Some some just ran in. I've heard yeah. multiple stories of even. <laughs> it was a border patrol. I, I was going to say. I even heard. I, I heard an officer went running in to go grab their kids. out and actually attended the school as well. This is but something then, else. You are getting reports that there's a live active shooter in a school. Right. You are paid to go in there. Immediately. And do that. Immediately. Not stand around and get a perimeter. Right. Get your ass in there. If that ain't for you, put your badge up, put your gun up, and go get another job. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying I'm not, and 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 I don't want to nobody coming at me saying, oh well, if you think it's that easy, once you put a badge on, I ain't signed up to be a cop. Mm. I sign if I sign up to be a pilot, I'm expected to land that motherfucker. Right, hundred percent of the time. Right. So so you took the job as serious as being a police officer is. Your ass need to act, mm -hmm. and you need to get in there, mm -hmm. period. There is no ifs, ands, buts about it. God damn. Your ass should have been in there. If I was a parent there, my ass would have been in there. Yeah. yeah. Like that's, And that's easy for me to say. That's mm -hmm. 2020 is hindsight. When the, if, when the event is happening, you don't, you kind of, you, you, you try to put yourself in that position to see what you would do, and it's easier when everything has already happened, and you can kind of decipher what, what your actions were going to be. But I know for a fact, as a parent of a child that's in that school, mm -hmm. I would have been running in there. I'm gone. Like, like, like you can't like, especially when you're hearing the shots go on. Yeah, you ain't gonna. Like you just not gonna be standing out there. Like that's <laughs> like that's insane. Right. Like that doesn't even that doesn't even compute with me. And you having a badge and having a gun, and you being paid. Like that's how I look at it. We taxpayers, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm paying for your ass to stand out here next to me. Get your ass the fuck up in there and start doing something. Do something. Worth about it, but it's like, because maybe we would have been there and been like, oh shit, maybe I'll fuck it up. You know, maybe I'll fuck it up because they have a hostage negotiator now. They're talking, and if I run in there, I'm going to fuck it up and get her killed. You know what I mean? We don't know if we would have thought that at that same time. So it's crazy to think, yeah, we would. We want to say that because in our hearts, as the <clears> men that we are, we would do that. But being in that situation, you know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm sorry. Once right. the bullets go off, there is no more hostage negotiation. If, if, if mm -hmm. let's speak to it. Anybody listening that's, that mm -hmm. knows a hostage negotiator, that is a hostage negotiator, mm -hmm. that's dealing with that. Uh, I believe once you shoot 
mm-hmm. a hostage, there is no more rules of engagement. As soon mm-hmm. as you start killing, that's a full breach. Period. SWAT up in there. Everybody up in there. There is no more talking. The hostage negotiator is there to negotiate with the person that has basically claimed, uh, held lives at, against their will. They're threatening them. That's when a threat is involved and they're threatened to kill. And so usually in those situations, they're there for some type of purpose. Mm-hmm. They want something. Money, resource, whatever the case may I don't be. I think that was the case, though. But, but what I'm saying is when people right. try to say, I was I was speaking more to people who are saying that it, if it was a hostage negotiation yeah. and they had any type of hesitation on, you know, going in there, like even if that's the case, any hostage negotiator is going to tell you as soon as the bullets start going off, there is no more talking. There is no the hostage more. negotiator leaves the scene or at least takes a step back right. now whoever's the commander of the SWAT team is now in control and they okay. take over you can understand maybe the police were telling people to stand back because you're actually putting other people in harm's way for an hour though for an hour you know i don't like i mentioned i mean if there's an active shooting in and you want you want everybody running inside and then actually being a the ones with the guns yeah the ones that's their job to do it well, so, yeah. you're goddamn right yeah yeah well, you mentioned it right there. I feel you on that. I, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'm, I know I'm myself. animated about it, but like that's just that's just bullshit. Anybody that's coming at me or it has any opposing side, you 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 have a right to your opinion, but I but I got a right to destroy your opinion. Get your ass the fuck up in there. Uh, the chat just said what you're saying ain't shit. No, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, pull up. <laughs> shit, but no, nah, man. I mean, you, you are right. You are right. And I mean, I'm trying to put myself in everybody's shoes, both mm-hmm. sides. Yeah, we try to. So, we really do. You know. And it's like, man. Mm. Uh, this is what the, who's that, what? They had a police commissioner there? Mm. Who's the guy? They kept saying governor on some things. I don't know who this guy is because some newscasts were saying he was governor. Some were saying he had commissioner. I don't know who he is. I don't think that's the governor. Exactly. I don't think so either. But like two newscasts were saying the governor said this. And then I was like, that's not the governor. Um, do you want me to play it? Yeah, let me hear what he has to say on the story but ultimately i know things are going to start coming out about gun control Mm -hmm. that's obviously the first thing that people start talking about and politicize it yep you know that's i definitely want to look into that a little bit closely but i want to see what uh he is going to talk about before i ask the big question you say there were 19 officers gathered in the hallway or, or somewhere what efforts were made to try and break through that door you say it was locked what efforts were the officers making to try and break through? None at that time is the only answer you can ask when someone was asking you. That sucks. You have people who are alive, children who are calling 911 saying, please send the police. Everyone's going to jump on him because he's the one in front of the microphone. Right. He obviously wasn't there when it happened. He's just the one that's responsible to Reporting. give an explanation right. on what, what occurred. And he, he, I'm listening to you know, what he's saying and he's, he, I mean, it sounds like what he's saying is, is accurate to what transpired. Right. So it's, you know, it's to the point where you know, and that he's reporter right. had a great question, like why wouldn't, why didn't you push it? Th-? And he was very firm in his mm-hmm. question on why didn't you, what type of efforts did you show to push through the barricade right. when it's an active shooter? Mm-hmm. And he answered the question. He didn't dodge it. He said, based on the information that we had of the commander that was on site, right. basically there was, there was no, he barricaded himself in there and there was no one in there. Right. So if you have that information, I can understand Them from, from, to- from that perspective. However, mm-hmm. And this is where we get into the accuracies of or inaccuracies of this situation. As you just stated, you had kids calling. Yeah. Nine one from their phone mm-hmm. saying come up active. in here. Yeah. Like what else do you need? How and you're hearing the bullets. How, what yeah. he shoot what he shooting up the chalkboard? Right. <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck is he shooting? Right. Well, some of this it has to come down to its negligence, stupidity. Or flat out fear. Yeah. Was it a fearful act? Like I don't want to go in there and get shot. Mm-hmm. And I'm not trying to blanket that on all law enforcement. That's obviously not the case. There's a lot of brave law enforcement majority. I would I would actually say for taking up the job in the first place. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because it's like yeah. that's not an easy job. That's it not ain't. an easy gig to do. Mm-hmm. And a lot of them, depending on where you at, you ain't paid as much. Right. You're not paid as what you should be getting paid. Depending on where you work, yeah. So so we don't we're not going to sit up here and do that. But we do have to dissect and go into responsibility of this type of situation. And 
Would you have saved every child nah. by doing a full breach? No. But you damn sure would have reduced that number of, of 19 a kids few. getting kid or, mm-hmm. or possibly one of the teachers Absolutely. Uh, that, 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 was, uh, that was murdered. Could have, you know. could have, should have, would have, right? Who knows? That That's, you know, hours a long ass time. That's, that's a, a long, long time to be time. shooting. Even, even 30 minutes is a long ass time. Jeez. Why was this decision made not to go in and rescue these children?